Roscoe Pound Nathan Roscoe Pound, October 27, 1870, June 30, 1964, was a distinguished American legal scholar and educator. He was Dean of University of Nebraska College of Law from 1903 to 1911 and then Dean of Harvard Law School from 1916 to 1936. He was a member of the faculty at UCLA School of Law in the school's first years, from 1949 to 1952. The Journal of Legal Studies has identified Pound as one of the most cited legal scholars of the 20th century. Early Life Pound was born in Lincoln, Nebraska, to Stephen Bosworth Pound and Laura Pound. Pound studied botany at the University of Nebraska in Lincoln, where he became a member of the Chi Phi fraternity. He received his bachelor's degree in 1888 and his master's degree in 1889. In 1889 he began the study of law, he spent one year at Harvard but never received a law degree. He received the first Ph.D. in botany from the University of Nebraska in 1898. The University of Nebraska fielded its first football team the year after Pound graduated. Pound traveled with the teams to their games, including their first one. He also covered the team in the student newspaper and even refereed some. Pound created many chants and songs for the team and helped create a fan base that traveled well, which is something that the Cornhuskers still see to this day. Law Career in 1903 Pound became Dean of the University of Nebraska College of Law. In 1911 Pound began teaching at Harvard and in 1916 became Dean of Harvard Law School and served in that role until 1937. He wrote Spurious Interpretation in 1907, Outlines of Lectures on Jurisprudence in 1914, The Spirit of the Common Law in 1921, Law and Morals in 1924, and Criminal Justice in America in 1930. In 1908 he was part of the founding editorial staff of the first comparative law journal in the United States, the annual Bulletin of the Comparative Law Bureau of the American Bar Association. Although it is not often remembered now, Pound was a Roman law scholar. He taught that subject at Nebraska, Northwestern, and Harvard. Pound was sufficiently adept at Latin to translate Roman law into English for a source book he used for those classes, and he was said by Professor Joseph Beale to have brought the spirit of Roman law to Harvard. He even taught a course in Harvard's Department of Classics after he ceased to be the dean of the law school. Pound was also the founder of the Movement for Sociological Jurisprudence, an influential critic of the U.S. Supreme Court's liberty of contract, freedom of contract, line of cases, symbolized by Lochner v. New York, 1905, and one of the early leaders of the Movement for American Legal Realism, which argued for a more pragmatic and public-interested interpretation of law and a focus on how the legal process actually occurred, as opposed to in his view, the arid legal formalism which prevailed in American jurisprudence at the time. According to Pound, these jurisprudential movements advocated the adjustment of principles and doctrines to the human conditions they are to govern rather than to assume first principles. While Pound was dean, law school registration almost doubled, but his standards were so rigorous that one-third of those matriculated did not receive degrees. Among these were many of the great political innovators of the New Deal years. In 1929 President Herbert Hoover appointed Pound as one of the 11 primary members of the Wickersham Commission on issues relating to law enforcement, criminal activity, police brutality, and prohibition. During Roosevelt's first term, Pound initially supported the New Deal. In 1937, however, Pound turned against the New Deal and the legal realist movement altogether after Roosevelt proposed packing the federal courts and bringing independent agencies into the executive branch. Other factors contributing to this lurking conservatism within Pound included bitter battles with liberals on the Harvard Law faculty, the death of his wife, and a sharp exchange with Carl Llewellyn. Pound, however, had for years been an outspoken advocate of these court and administrative reforms that Roosevelt proposed and it was acknowledged that he only became conservative because he saw an opportunity to gain attention after his Harvard colleagues had turned on his ideas of government reform after Roosevelt had proposed them. In 1937 Pound resigned as Dean of Harvard Law School to become a university professor and soon became a leading critic of the legal realists. He proposed his ideas of government reform to Chinese leader Chiang Kai-shek. In 1934 Pound received an honorary degree from the University of Berlin, presented by the German ambassador to the United States. Pound was among the famous American jurists to express a liking for Adolf Hitler. In the 1940s, Pound was apparently favorably disposed to replacing John P. Higgins as a judge on the International Military Tribunal for the Far East, which was conducting a war crimes trial in Tokyo, though an appointment did not eventuate. He joined the faculty of UCLA School of Law in 1949, the year the law school opened, and remained on the faculty until 1952. 
criminal justice in Cleveland. In 1922 Roscoe Pound and Felix Frankfurter undertook a detailed quantitative study of crime reporting in Cleveland newspapers for the month of January 1919, using column edge counts. They found that in the first half of the month, the total amount of space given over to crime was 925 inches, but in the second half, it leapt to 6,642 inches This was despite the fact that the number of crimes reported had increased only from 345 to 363. They concluded that although the city's much publicized crime wave was largely fictitious and manufactured by the press, the coverage had a very real consequence for the administration of criminal justice. Because the public believed they were in the middle of a crime epidemic, they demanded an immediate response from the police and the city authorities. The agencies, wishing to retain public support, complied, caring more to satisfy popular demand than to be observant of the tried process of law. The result was a greatly increased likelihood of miscarriages of justice and sentences more severe than the offenses warranted. Contribution to Jurisprudence Roscoe Pound also made a significant contribution to jurisprudence in the tradition of sociological jurisprudence, which emphasized the importance of social relationships in the development of law and vice versa. His best-known theory consists of conceptualizing law as social engineering. According to Pound, a lawmaker acts as a social engineer by attempting to solve problems in society using law as a tool. Personal Life In 1903 Pound, with George Condra, founded the Society of Innocents, the preeminent senior honor society of Nebraska. It is still in existence. Pound is also a member of the Nebraska Hall of Fame. He was a Freemason, and was a member and past master of Lancaster Lodge No. 54 AF and AM Lincoln, Nebraska. He also served as Deputy Grandmaster for the Grand Lodge of Massachusetts in 1915 and delivered a series of Masonic lectures for the Grand Lodge in March and April 1916. He helped to found the Harvard Lodge AF and AM along with Kersop Lake a professor of the Divinity School, and others. Notes of 